My sister was the, one of the biggest parts of my story and the reason that I'm here today. I wanted to be the picture-perfect Christian, and that's not who I was. Hi, I'm Madison Cooper. I go to Plano East Senior High, and I'm in the 11th grade. Uh, about three years ago, I um, encountered the Lord on an Alpha weekend that I was invited to um, through just uh, my sister um, finding the Lord and inviting me and just me being a curious eighth grader. My name is Avery Cooper and I go to McMillan High School and I'm a sophomore. My name is Addison Cooper and I go to Murphy Middle School and I'm in eighth grade. I try like really hard to like, you know, just be a representation of like who Jesus really is, especially in my family. Like, they don't believe, and I try my best to just help them to see the noticeable change of me. The gospel has really like changed the way I view things and how I like show myself to others. And like every single day, I just want to like become closer to God and be a better person. It gives me so much more like just. Purpose. I accepted Christ, and then a couple months later, I got baptized by my sister at Chi Alpha, and that was an experience that changed my life forever. Um, just watching my video from three years ago, just how I answered those questions, I just, it just shows the progress and the change of who I was then and who I am now. Um, I was just a little girl looking up to her sister and trying to be like her. Um, I think the past couple of years, I've um, dealt with a lot of struggles, and I think a lot of them has been just finding my identity and finding my love for Christ on my own. I think I've leaned on a lot of people the past couple of years, and slowly that has been taken out of my life. Um, my sister was the, one of the biggest parts of my story and the reason that I'm here today. And with her leaving for college this past year has been just such a test from the Lord, just seeing how much I'm really in it for myself. And um, I think what got me through all those hard moments was having so many people that I leaned on so greatly leave my life. I finally had a time to stop making those people happy and putting down all these people that I was idolizing and putting the Lord in front and center and the Lord calling me out on my own things and um, taking me to the darkest point in my life to know that I was nothing but God is everything. And I don't know how I could have continued my life knowing the weight of my sin and where I was and how I was hitting rock bottom um, without knowing there's a savior on the other side that's um, waiting for you to just say yes. And I think for the longest time I had a mask over my life and I wanted to be the picture perfect Christian and that's not who I was, it's not who I am. And um, realizing that and putting my pride aside and really um, finally being vulnerable with the people around me, the people I trust and I love and just sharing the things that were truly going on in my life um, is the reason I'm on, I'm on the other side. And so I think, especially for this weekend, was a time where you get um, set aside time to talk to people and be honest and with no judgment. And so I would just say to utilize it. When I'm 80 and I'm looking at myself and reflecting on my life, I, um, I hope to see a life that has served God's kingdom in the best way possible, knowing that if I could experience some of the craziest things in just the past year, how much more crazy things could happen. And um, I felt a calling on my life recently when praying about my future of doing something in the church and um, hopefully one day doing something with my sister and serving the Lord together since we've been through it all together.